Attention everybody, are you an aspiring content creator? You want to get on YouTube and share yourself with the world and don't quite know how or where to start? I have a solution for you. So I would like to introduce you to De Silva Silva, a fabulous content creator who has helped many others to become content creators and she's ready to help you as well. In fact, she has an ebook out to help guide you and teach you everything you need to know about becoming a content creator. And I think you'll find it very beneficial and I would like to encourage you to reach out to De Silva so that she can help to get you started on your journey to becoming the content creator that you've been wanting to become. So please go ahead and reach out to her to learn more. You can contact Ms. De Silva via email at DeSilvaTalkShow at gmail.com. Her email address can be found in the description of her channel and I will leave the link to her channel right underneath this video. There is money to be made in these YouTube streets y'all. Okay, so let's go. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Please know that everything said in this video is alleged and it's my very own personal opinion. So I'm coming to y'all with some news on Stormy, but before I do, shout out to Here for Hot Tea because this is where I got the information from. She reported on it earlier yesterday and I wanted to report on it here today as well to make sure that it reaches as many people as possible, okay? Hey Stormy, okay? Because I know that your swole head ass is over here listening. And so are thousands of other people because they know that you are a trifling ass bitch and want to know what you up to now. So let me just go ahead and tell them. It's the same old shit. Same old, same old. Same shit, different day. Okay? Y'all, another one of Stormy's customers has exposed her for being the trifling ass business person that she is. Bitches like her make it hard for folks who really out here trying to push their business. It's because of scamming ass bitches like her then folks are hesitant to shop at black businesses. I'm assuming that Tater Head got wind of me helping her customers get a class action lawsuit started against her ass. So the last thing she want is for more people to come out saying that, she, you know, she has scammed them. Plus, okay, she likes to run with the narrative that what we be talking about it's old news, accusing us of constantly talking about the past. But the thing is, it's not the past. Stormy is still taking these people money and not making sure that they're getting their shit. So she got folks out here calling her a scammer. The bitch is shady as fuck. She has taken folks' money. Okay? Not all of them have you know, received their shit or refund. But she out here flossing and telling people she rich and buying boats and shit. Probably can't even fucking swim, but just want to look rich, which is why, you know what I'm saying? Which is why her ass is really broke in my opinion. Because all of that TikTok money belongs to her creditors, okay? She has several judgments against her, for those who don't know. Several judgments. That she has been ordered to pay. And there's a lien on her fucking home. Her car was repoed not too long ago. All because she wanted to look rich. Instead of taking the necessary steps to really be rich. Instead of genuinely trying to improve the quality of her business. She would rather blame other folks. For how she running her business but got the nerve to talk down on other people's businesses and call them unprofessional when she bout one of the most unprofessional ass bitches in the entire fucking world. The way she does business, her employees, her customer service, all of it, unprofessional. So let's get into the latest customer to expose her ass, y'all. And I'm not going to be long with this because I done dragged her ass behind the wall in my members only group. But I wanted to speak about this here just a little bit to keep the people informed. And to inform anybody who doesn't know about Taterhead's shady business practices, okay? It really is fucking disgusting. And so is she. So a customer, okay, she hopped in Stormy's comments asking about her order. And I got all the receipts posted in my members only group, okay? This person asked Stormy if she could tell her when the orders were going to be shipped out. 
because it's looking like Taterhead is over there lying to them people, telling them that their orders are late because of the fucking hurricane. Because in one of the receipts I have over in my members only group, the customer said, Hurricane Web, bitch, you posting outside and it looked pretty sunny to me. I said, that's because the only storm that's going on is the one in that fucking warehouse, okay? Y'all, when the customer left a comment asking Stormy if she could tell her when the orders were going to be shipped out, okay? Stormy responded and said, I can tell you that you're blocked. That was some bold ass shit, right? But that's who Stormy is. She's not what she's over, you know, over their own TikTok or whatever else pretending to be for them clip folks, okay? Or on the show. This bitch is tripping as fuck. And her garbage pail kid looking ass mama is on the show telling people that male be telling folks to activate on Taylor Head. Bitch, this is why we activate on your bitch ass daughter. Okay, Betty? Because she out here fucking over people. Then, when called out on her bullshit, she want to play like she the victim. Okay? When it's her customers who are the victims. She's allegedly out here, in my opinion, scamming people out of their hard-earned money. Then going around taking pictures with it. Claiming to be rich. As her customers are left to take the issue up with their bank. Because Taterhead don't care enough to resolve it. And she only continues to do this because ain't nobody eliminated some of those fucking teeth from her mouth. You don't play with people's money. So y'all, Stormy found out that the customer that exposed her have a YouTube channel. And the girl threatened to do a video about Stormy. Okay? And so Stormy <clears throat> ran to her live at 4 in the morning. To bribe the girl with gifts, including the Gucci purse. Even said she would fly out to the girl or some shit like that. Like she Beyonce or some shit. Like, girl, who the fuck you think want to see you? Stormy got exposed for being a trifling person that she is. And want folks to believe that she thought the girl was just amongst the group of haters that she claimed to have. She said that she received a lot of hate messages. I call bullshit because nothing that customer said was hateful. All she asked was when would she be receiving her shit? And Stormy didn't want to deal with her. And so she blocked her, not knowing that the girl was going to make a video about it. I'm sorry, but I couldn't listen to Stormy's entire life. The sound of her voice just disgusts me. If y'all want to hear that shit, feel free to head on over to Hear For T's page, okay? Because she has Taterhead's entire life. It's certain people... I just can't listen to because I be wanting to come through the screen, okay, and punch him dead in their fucking face. I'm glad Stormy responded to that customer in the manner that she did because I'm for sure going to pass this on to the lawyer. Because Stormy liked to act. She want to be out here getting her tube on. So the receipts that I have are going to help prove that she's the trifling ass bitch that she is, okay? Y'all, it's looking like Taylorhead been scamming customers for the past four years and been getting away with the shit. She has lied through all them teeth in her mouth, blaming everybody but herself. She's even lied on the post office, saying that they were stealing her body glaze. The body glaze that she knows she probably never sent out, in my opinion. Then she even tried to produce a fake-ass, handwritten-ass letter lying about it being from the post office. Like, girl, if you don't go sit your clown ass the fuck down somewhere and issue them people a refund. She was pretty much telling the people that they weren't going to receive their shit. But my question is, did she ever refund them? I would be willing to bet she didn't. Y'all, that live that she did was so hard to listen to. She think this shit is a game. She was just sitting there lying through all them fucking teeth in her mouth. She had the nerve to say that she feel bad when she wrong somebody and can't sleep. If anything, that shit make her sleep better. Because she an evil ass bitch just like her mammy. Then she had the nerve to say that she was one of the realest people. When the reality is that she's one of the fakest bitches on the planet. And she said that when she fuck up, she'd be the first to say it. It was a fucking delusions for me, y'all. She'd been fucking up for years and have never taken accountability. Has pointed the finger at everybody but her damn self. Bitch, how you gonna be the owner of your business but not responsible for what happens with it? And she was just a smiling, 
smiling and shit, just like she did when she was lying in that other lab about the post office stealing her shit. That shit is disgusting. It's a nervous laugh that she do when she lying through her teeth and her big ass face, hoping that people going to buy the lie. Either way, I will still be moving forward with helping her customers, <coughs> excuse me, pursue a class action lawsuit. And I'm going to use the receipts from this customer and also that live that Stormy did bribing that customer. Okay. Thanks, Stormy. If anyone listening to this video has ordered from Stormy and has never received your order or your money back, please email or DM me with proof that you've ordered from her. Also, any correspondence between you and Stormy, if any, please send that as well. Y'all, that's going to be all for this video. Everybody else, this conversation will be continued behind the wall. Y'all take care and I will chat with y'all in the next one.